Nick Walters here at the 2017 Coaching School in Houston, Texas, here with Joe Drennan, head coach of the Hallsville Bobcats. Yes, sir. Good to have you, Coach. Thanks for having me. Coach, tell me about the team this year. Well, right now, you know, I took the job in February, and uh, we've kind of done some evaluations through the spring, off-season work. Over the summer, our kids been doing a great job of, of showing up and, and trying to get themselves prepared. Um, feel really good about the effort we've been given. I feel really good about possibly our defensive side of the ball going in right now. Offensively, I think, you know, I've got concerns as uh, need to find us a quarterback. If we can find us a quarterback, I think we'll be pretty competitive. What's the transition been like? It's been really good. Uh, been really good. Uh, the, the fans there, the parents, uh, they've been very supportive so far. The administration has been really good to us. Uh, the kids have uh, transitioned really well into what we're doing. Uh, like I said, this summer we've probably had over 120 kids a day up coming to our summer workouts, and, and that's really good. What's the new culture you're trying to instill at Hallsville? Well, it's kind of like when I was at Mineola and Course Cannon and Liberty Aula before that, uh, you know, consistency in what we do. I uh, want to have great coaching staff. I want to have uh, uh, the kids to know exactly what we expect of them each and every day and, and what we can get out of them each and every day and, and just build a consistency and, and a fit for our program with our families and, and uh, bring pride back to the school, uh, back to the community. Because, you know, when, when, when football season starts out and it's a, it's a success, generally the whole school year is a success. You're coming off a state title with Mineola. How can you bring one to Hallsville? <laughs> it's not easily done. <laughs> you know, it, winning's not easy, guys. You got you got to work hard each and every day, and that's what we've been talking to our kids about. They, you you, you can't just say you want to win. You, you got to go out and earn it each and every day, and, and and that's what we're trying to do right now. And like I said, I think it all goes back to to the program consistency, building building a uh, camaraderie between all of our coaches, staff, and our not just in football, but in all our girls' sports our, and the rest of our boys' sports, bringing them all together, working together, and building that pride in, into the school system. What's the team itself looking like? Are there any key players? Uh, you know, my son's coming over with me from Mineola. He's going to be – he was my starting linebacker there for the last three years. Uh, he, he's going to be a good one for us. Uh, has been a good one for me at Mineola. Uh, Josh Taylor is a running back, linebacker kid, I think is going to be a pretty special player. We got some offensive linemen, Blake Trainer, uh, Dylan Russell, Cecil Johnson, some guys that that I've noticed since I've been there that are putting in the, effort, the work and the effort to, uh, to bring success to the school. Give me an outlook on your district schedule. Tell me how Hallsville will fare. Well, you know, we won't know till the season's over, <laughs> but uh, – I, 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 it's going to be a competitive one. You know, we've got Texas High, Marshall, Sulphur Springs, Pine Tree, Mount Pleasant, Greenville in there with us, and, and all of those are quality schools. They've all at one point in time in their, their history have been great winners. Um, I think Texas High, obviously, is probably, to me, is the favorite to win it. Marshall, loaded with athletes, new coach, uh, could, be, could be a runner for it. I'm hoping we're going to fit somewhere in that mix. Uh, trying to get into those playoffs and, and get a playoff win or so in there. And hope, you never know. Once you get in, you just never know what's going to happen. It's your first year at Hallsville. It's a new program and a new school. So what are the expectations like in the first year in your program? Well, it's, it's like I tell them every year, the same thing I told them first year at Mineola. You know, I, I, I don't work to play 10 ball games. I want to work and I want us to be playing 13, 14, 15, and 16. I mean, we want to play all the way to the end. I mean, if you don't have that goal, there's no need in suiting up the very first day of practice. So that's got to be our goal. Whether we get there or not, it's going to be another story, but we're going to work toward being, being there in the end. What are the storylines going into this season? Well, I don't know. I, 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 think, I think we're going to build those as we go. I, I really don't know what it's going to be right now. Right now, what we're doing at the school, we've been trying to bring back some of the things from in 1999, they had a really good year. They went four rounds. Uh, they had what they called the gold rush back then. And, and we're trying to bring that stuff back to Hallsville, bring back a little bit of that old, old school tradition stuff. We're bringing back the gold helmets. We're bringing back the gold socks. You know, our purple uniforms are still going to be there. But uh, just trying to bring back the community and the pride and, and, and trying to fill those bleachers up a little bit. <laughs> Thank you for your time, Coach. Thank you. From Houston, I'm Nick Walters.